AT&T presents RTX this year. Thanks to AT&T 5G, we're able to bring an awesome RTX straight to you in the comfort of your own home. AT&T's 5G network is fast, reliable, secure, and now available nationwide. Whether you're at home or on the go, you'll enjoy coverage in more places. Plus, AT&T doesn't make it complicated. 5G access is included in all consumer unlimited plans at no extra cost. Join us for RTX at home for virtual panels from your favorite shows and podcasts, a whole bunch of exclusive merch drops, and more. And it's all thanks to AT&T. For more information on AT&T 5G, visit att.com slash 5G. In ancient times, a demonic being known as the Kishin ravaged humanity, nearly driving all mankind into the depths of madness. This monster could only be defeated and sealed away by the God of Death. So, uh, why is the literal God of Death so goofy looking? Have you ever seen Death Note? Hell, even Thanos' girlfriend is scarier than this clown. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with the world of Soul Eater, prepare yourself. It's different. Well, not one in a return of the apocalypse, Death and his oven mitts founded a school, Death Academy. Here, warriors called Meisters would train to fight evil using the power of their souls. They even got neat demon weapons that doubled as people. Together, they learned courage, chivalry, unbreakable friendship. You know, all, all that anime crap. Krona Gorgon was not one of these students. Buckle up, it's all Gloomsville from here. Deal with it. I don't think I know how to deal with this situation. Throughout their childhood, Krona was abused by their mother, Medusa, a witch obsessed with the legendary Kishi. You can see where this is going. Anime Uma Thurman was such a fangirl, she figured, hey, why don't I make my own Kishin? So she used her child as a guinea pig in a bunch of crazy experiments. You know, it kind of sounds like something you do, Wiz. Don't be silly, I only use actual guinea pigs. Part of Medusa's great experiment included bonding Krona to a weapon, much like the Meisters of Death Academy. However, joining with Ragnarok was a bit more literal. Ragnarok used to be your run-of-the-mill transforming weapon person, until Medusa melted him alive in black blood. Black blood being another experiment of hers. Krona's own blood is, in fact, this same black blood, which they can remotely control. It can be used to heal wounds and even harden as a sort of internal armor. Cooking rags in black blood turned him into a brand new weapon that was literally poured into Krona's bloodstream. From that point on, Krona and Ragnarok were two halves of the same person, the meek and tortured child firmly attached to their loud and brazen weapon. And Raggy has that black blood control too. They can yank poor Krona around like a puppet. They can use black blood to create wings, thorny vines, all kinds of weapons, and big ass needles. Ugh. I hate needles. Really? How come? You whiz. You. God knows you've stuck me with about a thousand of them by now. Hmm, interesting. How about this one that can give you your own Ragnarok-like weapon? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do it, but it better be real this time. I, I'm, you lied to me again. Finally, peace and quiet. All right, come back next week for the full episode of Venom vs. Krona.